One day, Usabona, Usabona, Abanu, 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 Given by money, not given by houses, not given by education, it's given by one doctor who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth because he's the cure to every sin, because money is kept in the pocket, it's kept in the bank, but it's not kept in the heart. Your degrees will be kept in fire. Because we come with capu, will be kept in bags. Now, go as we come with him, will not be kept in the heart. Umutima, what am I a crystal when you heart was created for Christ alone? Can the man and the other mutima munyabja? And God cannot live in the heart of a sinner. Zaurisha Mura Masenje show you miss me wrong in these uh, forty days of prayer and fasting. Yogu saying, uh, no quid is usa, or we are fasting and praying. Truly, nobody ever goes before the Lord and comes back the same without God doing something in his life or for his life. Today is day 11, and it is the fourth day of the second week. We are talking, the theme of the week says, talks about the benefits of having a heart that loves truth and consequences of a heart that does not love the truth. On this fourth day, we're going to talk about the third benefit and uh, its opposite consequence, consequence of not loving the truth but before that let us pray Father in the name of Jesus we are humbling ourselves before you that you may be exalted. The word that we're going to listen to is the word of the, of the owner of the word. It's the word of our creator. It's the word that we respect. It is your word, O powerful God. Your, only your Holy Spirit is what we are asking for that we may understand your word and that it may change our lives. It may take us out of death and bring us into life. That whoever listens to it may be built up by it. Holy Spirit, we humble ourselves. Let it not be us but may your name be exalted and give us hearts give us a heart that loves the truth that walks in the truth that puts the truth before everything that is built on the truth so that your name continue to be glorified in our lives thank you Lord receive all the glory in Jesus name Amen, Amen. May God bless you, brethren, who continue to follow the word of God. Today, on Thursday, we're going to talk about the third benefit of uh, loving the truth of, have, of having a heart that loves the truth and peace. And we will also talk about its opposite consequence of not loving uh, the truth and peace. The, the benefit we're talking about today says loving and possessing or keeping the truth in your heart is the answer or the cure to all sin 
And he brings peace. Having a heart that loves the truth is the cure to every sin. And he brings peace. Let us read the word of God in Psalm 119 from verse 9 to verse 12. Let's read in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, how can a young man stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. Verse 11. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Lord, praise be to you. Teach me your decrees. Let us continue in Psalm 51, verse 7 and 8. In sin was I created. In sin did my mom did my mother give, give birth to me. I have sought truth in my heart. In the heart far where nobody can see. You will know because of wisdom. Let's read in Romans chapter 3. Roman, Romans chapter 3. Verse 23. To verse 24. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And all are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Isaiah chapter 48 Verse 22. There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. Proverbs 28, verse 13. He who conceals his sin will not prosper. But the one who confesses and renounces, renounces them finds mercy. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 5. The Bible says. The Bible says that this word is to be trusted. This word is to be trusted. That Jesus Christ came on earth to save the sinners. And I am the first one of them all. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. For what I received, I passed on to you. That Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. That he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. And let us end for now in Isaiah 43. Verse 4 and 6. Um, for our wounds, he was, he was wounded for our sins. He put on himself our sins. 
ariko twebweho twamutekereje nko kubiswe n'Imana gacumitwa nayo but we thought that he was punished by the father agaheta mishwa n'imibabaro and that he was uh, wounded because of suffering nyamara bicumuro byacu nibyo yacumitiwe but he was pierced for our transgressions yashenjaguriwe gukiranirwa kwacu he was crushed for our iniquities igihano kiduhesha amahoro cyari kuri we the punishment that brought us peace was on him kandi imibyimba ye niya dukirisha and by his wounds we are healed twese twayobye nk'intama zizimi We all like sheep have gone astray. Twese twabaye intatane. Each of us has turned to our own way. Uwiteka mushiraho gukiranirwa kwacu twese. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Amen. Amen. Yes, ashimwe nshuti z'Imana. Praise the Lord friends of God. Uyu munsi today uh, turabona inyungu y'ukuri ya gatatu. We're going to talk about the third benefit of loving the truth. Inyungu turebe uyu munsi the benefit we're talking about today uh, ni yuko uh, ukuri is that the truth ni umuti w'icyaha is the cure to all sin ni umuti w'icyaha mu buzima bwacu is the cure to the sin in our lives hari ikibazo kimwe kwisi there is only one problem on earth abantu bose bahuriyeho that everybody has in common ni kimwe cyonyine it's only one Nande se ni kimwe cyonyine. It's only one. Nta nikindi ushobora kubona. And there is nothing else we have in common. Kuko niba hari ibibazo by'uburwayi. Because if we have a uh, sickness problems. Abantu bose ni barwayi. Not everybody is sick. Niba hari ibibazo by'ubukene. If there is a problem of poverty. Abantu bose ni bakenye. Not everybody is poor. Niba hari ikibazo cy'umutekano muke. If there is a problem of security. Abantu bose ntago hari umutekano muke mu bihugu byabo. Not every country has insecurity. Niba hari ikibazo cy'amakimbirane mu buryo mwe cyangwa If there is a problem of conflicts in one way or another, not everybody has that problem. But there is one problem that we all have in common. The rich has the same problem. The poor has the same problem. The educated has the same problem. The uneducated has the same problem. The short ones have the same problem. The tall ones have the same problem. The white people have the same problem. Black people have the same problem. That is one problem that is called sin. And the word of God says there is no peace for the wicked says the Lord. And the wages of sin is death. It's death. It's the death after the death that we know about. It's eternal death after this life. But before that death comes, even if a country has all the security there is, as long as the people in need are not saved, they have security from the outside, but they are insecure in inside of them because there is no peace for the wicked and we saw that peace means two things it's being still inside there are some neighborhoods that are calm and still there are households that are at peace but the only uh, the heart that is at peace is the heart that has peace peace. Peace that does not come because of money. That does not that does not come because of honor. Peace that does that does not come because of education. That does not come from the family you are born in. But peace that is given by Jesus. And peace means to be calm and still. Peace means to be satisfied and content. One day It's a story. A king was sick in a certain country. All doctors tried to uh, treat him and they couldn't. But his wise men told him to send his servants in his country to go find somebody that is at peace. Somebody that has joy and peace. If they find him 
Bamgamburi shati. They uh, take his shirt from him. Bamgamburi umgambaroi. Take his clothes from him. Bauza ni umgami. And bring it to his to the king. Aurara ni shororimge. So that the king may sleep in it for one night. Uracha mikito ndo yachizi. He will be cu- as, uh, cured in the morning. Abagara kuwara haguru seba rajenda. His servants went around. Baja kushakumuti umgami. Looking for the cure for the king. Aha nubiru kanjie bugambere. The first place they stopped. Was to the uh, the assistant of the king. The second to the king. The first question they would ask a person. They would ask him, "Do you have peace in your heart?" When they asked the assistant to the king, he answered that he does not have peace. Because there are people that always go to make him the king. Because people want a raise to the salary. Because people are misusing the resources of the country. And that was a, a peaceful kingdom. The servants went uh, continued on the way. They went to the uh, the master of the army the lord of the army of the king they asked him are you uh, joyful he said I don't have peace and he started to tell them the, the problems that he have they continued they went to the richest person in the country they asked him do you have peace in your heart he said no I don't started to tell them why they went back to go back to the kingdom they said if we can find peace with the assistant of the king with the chief of the army and with the richest person in the country then we cannot find peace in the, in the, in the people on their way back they found a person they met a person singing but he was living in a tent on the uh, on the side of the road one of the servants said stop they looked at that person he was cooking and singing and they say this man looks joyful it looks like he has peace they started arguing between them but they, are, they agreed to go speak to him they asked him do you have peace and he said I have abundant peace that is given by Jesus and they say give us our, your shirt he said I don't have a shirt this cloth that you see me covered me is the cloth that I sleep in is the cloth that I spend the day in but I have peace in my heart truly this means that people are running after the things of the world thinking that it will bring them peace people are looking for money thinking that it will bring peace to them they are looking for honor thinking that it will bring peace to them they are looking for education thinking that it will bring security it will bring them security but the more they have they let the less peace they have because the peace of the heart is not given by money is not given by houses is not given by education it's given by one doctor who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth because he is the cure to every sin because money is kept in the pocket is kept in the bank but is not kept in the heart your degrees will be kept in files will be kept in bags but will not be kept in the heart the heart was created for Christ alone and God cannot live in the heart of a sinner that is why the only way to peace is to receive the Lord of 
peace. Who is the, the, the truth that we need to know? They told us that this is a trustworthy word. And this should be accepted. That, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. He came into the world to save sinners. And that's all. Let me tell you, brethren. The work of God in the church, the work of God in the world, is to save people from sin. The chairs that you see here are here so that people may be freed from sin. The house that you see here is built for people to be saved from sin. People come, come to church to be saved from sin. One day, you will see people laughing at somebody because they saw him sinning and yet he goes to church they will say is he also going to church do you want me to go to the market instead are people freed from sin in the market do you want him to go to the uh, field where do you want him to go even if you fought last night if you are blessed that he fought with you last night but in the morning you see him taking the Bible and going to church you should praise the Lord for that because the person that fought with me last night is going to be treated for the sickness of fighting if he comes home and is not free from that, and he beats you up again Pray to God for him to go back to church tomorrow. If he's not cured yet, pray again that he may go back. Because only Jesus is the cure of every sin. Let me tell you, brethren, Jesus did not come for anything else. He didn't come to give us money. Let nobody lie to you. Let nobody tell you come to the church to be rich come to church to be rich come to church to be rich outside of the church people are rich. Jesus found rich people on earth he found poor people on earth and he left them here when he comes back they will still be here the reason why he came to, to, he came to the world is to save us from sin after you receive Christ in you the first thing that he frees you from is sin is the, 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 the consequence of sin how can a man be saved the Bible says the Bible says in John in John chapter 16 verse 7 and to 8 the Bible says that when the spirit of truth comes he will convince the world of their sin and he will convince them about righteousness and he will convince them about the story he will convince them of sin because they did not believe in Jesus because the biggest sin is to not believe in Christ that is the sin above every other sin in this world there are cars that carry other cars there are planes that carry other planes and there are people that are ahead of others and there is, sin, there, there is a sin that is ahead of other sins the sin that is above every other sin is not believing in Jesus the first thing that the Holy Spirit convinced people of 
is that God has given them the cure to sin and they refuse to drink it Yesu Christo, who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth Paul, Paul told the Corinthians he told them that the first thing that the Lord gave me I passed it on to you that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures that he, was, he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures and that is the good news that is the gospel that, the death of Christ dying for my sins and your sins and the sins of the people in the world and he rose again as a sign that we will rise again and he went to heaven and seated at the right of the Father interceding for us and he will come back to take those who have believed in him how can a man be saved they listen to the word of Christ because the Bible tells us in 2 Timothy verse 3 chapter 3 verse 16 that all scriptures was breathed by God and he serves to teach and convince a man of his sins when Christ has come in your heart when the Holy Spirit has come in your heart when the Holy, when the Holy Scriptures have come in your heart the Bible says that the word of God is a sword and it, it, it is a double-edged sword that is able to separate the heart and the mind when the, uh, the word of God comes to your heart it separates things when the word of God has come inside of you when the word of God is in you he separates the things of the spirit from the things of the soul and the things of the body and he will show you your sin after he shows you your sin he shows you the wedges of sin after you've seen the wedges of sin and the wedges of sin is death the Holy Spirit points you to the cross and he tells you do not worry your sins somebody was punished for them he died he rose again and yet he did not sin do not worry this is where the, the Christian God when he looked up to the cross the burden that was on his back was taken away and he went uh, uh, standing firm praying the Lord this is where the singer says I will not forget the day I got saved when Jesus entered in my life oh hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. I will never forget the day I got saved when Jesus entered in my heart when the word of God enters your heart it convicts you of your sins it convicts you of the blood of Christ on the cross it convicts you of the forgiveness of God and you will uh, take away your unrighteousness and you will be clothed with the righteousness of God and there are three witnesses the water the spirit and the blood all three of them the word of God you cannot separate it from them when they come into a person the Holy Spirit will convict him the blood of Jesus will cleanse him he will cry tears. he will be baptized in water as a sign of dying with Christ and rising with him and we will walk in a new life when one is in Christ Jesus he is a new creature the old is gone see the new is here oh hallelujah, oh, hallelujah. Jesus is the cure to every sin Jesus is the cure to every sin 
Jesus is the sacrifice of our sins. Our old sins. Our sins of today. Our sins of tomorrow. Let me tell you brethren If there is something that we need in life We need Jesus Christ daily Let me ask you something today We are saved But we will be saved again There are two redemptions there is a redemption we received when we got saved we repented we were forgiven we received peace in our hearts but there is another redemption that Paul talked about in Corinthians he said the day we will uh, remove this body that will be the day of our total redemption but today we still sin we still sin that is why the word of God in John in 1 John chapter 1 from verse 6 to verse 10 the Bible says if we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in darkness we lie and do not live out the truth but if we walk in light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus his son purifies us from all sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us but if we confess our sins he is faithful just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness if we claim we have not sinned we make him out to be a liar and his word is not in us let us continue in 1st John chapter 2 my dear children I write this to you so that you will not sin but if anybody does sin we have an advocate with the father Jesus Christ the righteous one he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins and not only for ours but also for the sins of the world he is the atoning sacrifice of the sins of the saved and the unsaved uh, 1 John chapter 3 1 John chapter 3 verse 8 and 9 the one who does what is sinful is because the devil has been sinning from the beginning the reason the son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work no one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains they cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God Amen, Amen. when you read these words if the Holy Spirit is not close to you you would think that these words are uh, contradicting themselves here the Bible says that if we say that we have not, we have we are without sin we are lying and yet they tell us that we were cleansed of all of our, our sins and John said that if anyone sins he should remember that we have an atoning sacrifice with the father and yet they say that the one who was born of God does not continue to sin because the seed of God is in him let me tell you brethren 
turi mu mwaka w'ukuri we are in the year of truth ariko niba hari abantu badakunda kuvugisha ukuri ntwe bwa barokore but if there are people who do not say the truth it's us the christians dukeneye kristo we need christ kuko because nta muntu ushobora gukizwa nobody can be saved ngo asigarane ubusa bw'ububi and uh, remain without evil asigare na reka reka wenda turebe let me find a way to say ufashe reka dufate reka dufate ikaramu yigiti if you have a a, 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 pe, a pencil eh hey, ufate ikaramu yigiti pencil ikaramu yigiti if you have a pencil ikaramu yigiti uyigura ari uyigura ari ndende you buy it a uh, full complete ukagena uyichonga and the more you sharpen it uyichonga the more you sharpen it uyichonga the more you sharpen it ariko buri yabizi mibare for those who have done math ukomeje ukayichonga the more you sharpen the pencil ugashira no mu mashini and you, you you put it in a sharpener nushobora gusigara no busa bw'ikaramu you cannot stay without with none of the of the pencil ya yeah. nushobora gusigara na gusigara ntaka ntaka ufite kikaramu you cannot uh, sharpen the whole of the pencil you still have Kujesu a little bit of it. you still have a little bit of it until the day you have none of the pencil ntabwo rero wakizwa you cannot be saved uchamba yumubiri while still in the body ngwegera umusaraba and coming close to the cross wegera umusaraba coming close to the cross kugeza ubwusa n'utachamba yumubiri kandi wamba yumubiri until you are as if you're not in the body and yet you are in the it's body it's in your Nobody can lie to you about this. Nako byashoboka. It's impossible. Nako byashoboka. It is impossible. Iyo iyo waranje iyo utagishobora gukiranirwa hanze when you cannot be unrighteous from the outside. Ushobora gukiranirwa indana. You can still be unrighteous in the inside. Ushobora kurakara indana. You can still be angry. Ushobora kumva gatima kabikaje muri wowe. You can still feel a wickedness inside of you. Ubwicaje barokore bagera kwijana. If you gather a hundred Christians. Ukabaza ngo ninde ujugira ya yagize umuntu bafitanye kibazo. Who and ask them who who ever when you're in conflict with somebody whoever wishes them uh, something bad or maybe you have to uh, uh, catch yourself and say in Jesus name and you chase away that thought but you thought it before the word of God says you know that he was say do not commit adultery but whoever looks at a wife and co- and covet covet after her has already seen and he should even be taken to court and punished you know that it's written to not kill but if you call your uh, neighbor a fool if you say it with your mouth or if you think about it in your heart you should be taken to court if you hate your neighbor in your heart you should be taken to court let me tell you brother we need Jesus we need the forgiveness of God the truth is the only cure to sin this is the difference between us and the unsaved Hano batubwiye ngo Here they said Nabwiye ngo nta muntu usigara no busa bw'ububi I say that we are not empty of evil Nabwo wakizwa You cannot be saved Ngo wegera umusaraba and come close to the cross Usigara utagifite ububi and be completely emptied of the of evil Dero So Iyo kuri kwagwiriye muri wowe When truth abounds inside of you Icyurusha udafite kuri muri wowe cyangwa udafite kuri muri we what you have uh, ad- the advantage you have compared to the one that does not have the truth icyurusha udafite kuri muri we the advantage that you have cyangwa se umurokore icyarusha udakijijwe the advantage you have over the unsaved nuko basha kuvumbura vuba icyaha is that you can uh, recognize sin quicker iyo hari ikibaya rakimenya when something happens you know it iyo yavangi warabimenya when something happens you know it iyo yatewe warabimenya when you are under attack you know it let me tell you the only way to heaven the only way the only one way is to repent on a daily basis is to repent on a daily basis a certain man was in church it's somebody that gave that example and they were all trying to get in 
arabereka mu kinyabupfura ngo abererekere umusore ngo atambuke and one of the elder elderly men no, made no, a way for the young to pass umuntu warumwe ati muze ufite kinyabupfura cyinshi and the person but the person that saw him was like you are very honorable ati mane guhu mugisha you are such a noble man may god bless you arabwira ona warumwira ngo ya and he say no it's not that i am a noble person iyo iyo bishiganiye ni imbwa mu nzira urayibisa but you cannot fight to get in with dogs iyo bishiganiye ni imbwa mu nzira urayibisa when you are fighting with dogs to get somewhere you let them pass. and yet he is in yet he is in church kandi ntabwo avuga yuko adakijijwe and you cannot say that he is not saved wo yagakiza ni kimwe salvation is one thing no kurinda umutima ni kindi and keeping your heart pure is another thing yes rero jesus no muti w'ibyaha byacu byakera the cure of our past sins no muti w'ibyaha byacu byanone the cure of our present sins no muti w'ibyaha byacu byejo hasa the cure of our future sins rero twebwe abarokore as christians dukore ikosa rikomeye rimwe na rimwe we have we do this one mistakes do p- mistakes do, uh, do, 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 do pretending we pretend mbese do abantu badushuka ko turabera people like that like to us that we are saints natwe tukibesha ko turabera and we also believe that we are saints kandi tubeshwa no buntu bw'imana and yet we live by grace reka mbabwire ikintu kimwe bene da let me tell you one thing uyu munsi umuntu yakora icyaha today somebody may sin abantu mu rusengero bagakangarana and people will be troubled ya nasa no guhagarira imbere wenda giye nko kwigisha yacumuye and if he comes uh, in front to preach and yes he has seen, maybe he stole something few days ago but he repented ya garuka imbere ya bawe ndagiye kugira icyo avuga when he comes back on the pulpit to say something imitima yabo yose kamukira urubanza the heart of people will condemn him kandi buri wese wicaye mu rusengero and ev- and yet everybody sitting in church afite ikintu arwana nacyo is fighting with something they have a certain struggle there is a way the, there is a way they struggle with their if the, if he is a spiritual person that's why when you get closer to the truth who is god you the more you get closer to the truth the more you see your, your the closer you get to god the more of your weakness, weakness you can see. The, more, the closer you get to god the more of your weakness you can see. when you see a sinner repenting clap you you have to praise god because you may find that the thing he's repenting of is one thing is a thing that you did the same thing you did yesterday and nobody caught you but you repent maybe you did not do it atari kubwe imbaraga zawe not by your own strength ahubwo kubwe ubuntu bw'Imana at the grace of god ni imana yagufashe it's god that uh, took hold of you ntabwo ari wewe wifashe you did not restrain yourself is god that restrained you usanga turi mu cyaha gikomeye we find ourselves in great sin cyo kwifata nkabera of pretending to be saints nabaziranenge of pretending to be without evil batajya bakosa that never do any mistake tukananirwa kwihana and we do not repent tugatangira gucira imanza abantu and we start to uh, condemn other people iyo umuntu yafashe umwanya muri no gucira imanza abagenzi be when you have taken time to judge other people ni kimenyetso cyuko nta kuri kuri muri we it's a sign that you do not have the truth in you kuri kuri muri wowe because when the truth lives in you guhangana nawe it it fights with you ntabwo uje guhangana n'ibyo you face yourself you don't face yourself you face yourself you struggle with your own uh, struggle a truthful person will fight with his own struggles nobody that is truthful fights with the uh, fle- the carnality of another person but you find that sometimes we forget about our own struggles and we look onto the struggles of others and you start saying that person is not saved the other day he did this the other day is uh, the, this, person is saved. this person is not saved when you take time to do that it's a sign that you have forgotten about yourself but if you are a truthful person you will realize that 
what they did <laughs> you did it yesterday or the month that the past month <laughs> or maybe you almost did it and God restrained you <laughs> you were almost getting angry <laughs> you were almost doing something bad <laughs> and the Holy Spirit said do not do it <laughs> and when you get on the other side <laughs> you kneel down and you praise God <laughs> because you were about to do something <laughs> that was going to finish you because because of that pretending that forgetting about your own struggles because in your neighborhood they know you as the saved person you end up not being saved but when you fight your inner struggles you accept the truth of God and the word takes place in you and it searches you daily you will continue to see your wickedness that is why John said if we say that we are saints we are not called sinners because we sinned we, do, we sin because we are sinners our sinners is a consequence of the fact that we, our sins is a consequence of the fact that we are sinners and today the body that used to sin the body that used to steal the flesh that used to hate people the flesh that used to commit adultery and lie has not gone anywhere we're still with it except that we, we control it in the power of the word of God the power of the Holy Spirit the power of prayer the power of self-control the power of being one other than that that man is still there that is why on a daily basis we find ourselves doing that's why John says if you say that you are without sin if you say that you are without sin the word of God is not in you but if the word of God shines a light you, it will find some wickedness let us take another example. Jesus said, What, uh, what defiles, what defiles the life of a man is now what comes from outside in is what comes from the inside out and what comes from the heart the flesh is still there the heart is still there we have a new heart but the old heart is still close by we are still living close to the flesh it will be taken away when the Lord comes <laughs> back, or when we go to him the word of God when he shines a light in you there are some times that he finds uh, the rema- remnants Jesus said that it is the heart in the heart that we find adultery hatred evil desires uh, murdering and many other things that we find in our hearts brethren friends of God the pagans that are not yet saved need Jesus the whole world needs Jesus it needs the truth what kind of truth one day a person met another one they met at a hospital and he told him he asked him where is the operating room where is the, the operating room where they have the surgery where is the surgery word? he told him it's on the other side but he was on the opposite side then he kept going for the for where they sh- the direction they showed him and they told him you're going the wrong way when he was coming back he, he met the person that gave him the wrong direction he said why did you lie to me 
that's a that's a lie as well. If he had showed him where he was, he would have been the right way. The right way. But this is the truth we're talking about. The truth we're talking about. The truth we're talking about is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The truth we talk about is Jesus who died and rose again. The truth we talk about is the answer to everything. The cure to every sin. It's the, the cure to the sin in man. Because Jesus came for no other reason. He came to, cure, to save us from sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to our God. When the word of God has come inside of you, it teaches you, it convicts you of your sins, it cleanses you, it teaches you the way of righteousness on a daily basis when you sin it brings you back to the way until you stand fully equipped for every good work as we go to the end why did John say that the one that is born of God does not continue to sin this is uh, where we are different from pagans listen to this word for those who listen to this word look back before we got saved when we walked according to lies we used to sin and we'll boast about it we'll boast about it yeah. and we'll feel proud to be sinning we will feel proud about it a young man will compete with his fellow young man he will say I'm going to sleep with that lady and his friends will say if you, uh, if you are able to do that we will take you out after he comes back from sleeping with that lady they reward him in the past before we got saved we used to drink alcohol as a competition you will drink on the first day the second day without sleeping the third day without sleeping the, uh, the, as days go by some people would come out of the competition and at the end the one that is stronger will uh, uh, have today there are um, adult sex competitions sex competitions I saw a man on YouTube that was talking about how he went to a sex competition in South Africa with, uh, with cameras on it, it means that that heart is a heart that is dead so, um, pagan, a pagan will sin and be proud of it there are competitions uh, fighting competitions but for you, you you insult your neighbor and you fail to sleep but the others they fight and if, if they win they clap for him he becomes a, a wrestling champion they reward him with millions what causes them to be proud of sinning is because they don't have the truth inside of them the difference between us and them is that we have the truth inside of us and that's a seed of God inside of us the truth that we have received in us the seed of God in us when the heart starts to go astray when your hands start to go where they shouldn't go the light of the word of God shines in your heart and he tells you 
stop that. Today the sign that I am saved is that there are things that I used to be proud of. Today I'm scared to do them. Even if something happens by accident, I cannot spend seconds without repenting. One day, in my journey of salvation, I used to make a mistake and I would go to school and I couldn't follow the teacher. I couldn't follow the teacher because there is something I did in my heart until I repent and I will feel relieved in my heart and my thoughts will be sober for us when we sin because we have the truth in us we are disorganized we are frustrated that is why John says the one that was born of God is not going to be because the seed of God is in him. Even if he wants to do it, the light of God shines in him. The word of God shines in him. That is why David said, I have kept your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. The word of God is the keeper of our hearts. God is the keeper of our hearts. And Jesus Christ is the cure to every sin. Brethren, friends of God, keep the word of God in your heart. Keep your heart. Keep it with the word of God. Tremble in your heart. When you sin, be quick to repent. God is not a man. I was following a testimony on YouTube that were, they were talking about a singer, a righteous of God when he sinned he went to commit suicide. This one committed suicide because he did not know the truth. And he was not saved. Judas, Judas sinned and he committed suicide. Peter sinned and he went to repent. They committed almost the same sin. Judas betrayed Jesus. Peter uh, denied Jesus. They all uh, fell short at the last minute. Peter cried and repented. Judah went to commit suicide. Today in the house of God, because we think that we are peculiar people, you sin and you go away from the church. You run away from the church. Because this is a holy place. We think this is a holy place. We think that is a holy place. They think that these things are holy things. That is is the, the lack of truth. This is the truth. The holy place that God is looking for is your heart. And it can only be cleansed by the word of God. And Jesus is stretching his hands out to you. You are still making mistakes. You can be mistaken. You are not a special person. The reason you think you are special is because you do not have the truth inside of you. If you had the truth inside of you, you would come down and humble yourself and know that it's the grace of God that holds you and you will repent you will ask for forgiveness you will ask God for forgiveness and that is the life that you will live in until Jesus comes back may the God of peace bless you may the God of peace bless you if there is somebody that is not saved that listening to this word Jesus is still stretching his hands at the cross 
Do you have a scene that is holding you captive? The scene that is holding you captive. Jesus is the answer. Today stretch out your hands. Lift up your heart. And ask for forgiveness. Tell him I receive you now. For you to be my Lord and Savior. Today forgive me of all my sins. And that you, you may be called the Son of God. And I'm telling Telling you, brethren, remove sin from your heart. Repent. What the word of God is telling you, obey it. David says, The word of God is the keeper of my heart. Let the word of God keep your heart. John says, I am saying this to you that you may not see. But if anybody sees, Repent quickly because we have an atoning sacrifice. He is the atoning sacrifice. That is Jesus Christ, the righteous one. And not only our sins, but the sins of the world. May God bless you, brother. Receive the cure of sin. I tell you the truth. It is the word of God in your heart. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you are the true God. I thank you for your grace and mercy. Be exalted and praised. Forgive us where we have sinned. Forgive us where we exalted ourselves. Forgive us where we did not obey your word. Let your blood cleanse us. And we are praying for the sinners who are not saved. That you may go to them so that they may be saved. That they may be saved. That they may, that they may receive your grace. And receive peace in their hearts and have eternal life. May, you, may your word abound in our hearts. Thank you and receive all the glory. Thank you for giving us Jesus. Thank you for being good to us. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God bless you.